As the Secretary said, we're open to talking to Iran about the situation in Iraq, just as we're talking to all of Iraq's neighboring states. Uh, we put out a readout yesterday of uh, a range of calls the Secretary made uh, yesterday uh, to uh, a, a number of countries in the region. I would remind you that we've had similar conversations in the past with Iran uh, regarding Afghanistan. Uh, these consultations would be along those lines. Uh, we're not talking about coordinating any military action in Iraq uh, with Iran. Uh, we would encourage Iran to push the Iraqis to act to address problems uh, in a non-sectarian way. Uh, and uh, the purpose here would be, uh, as I guess I've, I've, I have outlined already, uh, to, um, uh, to consult on the situation uh, on the ground, uh, to encourage uh, Iran to, uh, to play a role, if possible, in uh, encouraging the Iraqis to uh, act in a responsible, non-sectarian way, uh, and encourage the leaders to do that as well. And I would just confirm for you that the Secretary did not say military coordination or cooperation. Uh, he did say, uh, and I have the transcript in front of me here somewhere, um, that if there was a constructive, uh, something constructive that could be contributed by Iran, uh, if Iran is prepared to do something that is going to respect the integrity and sovereignty of Iraq and the ability of the government to reform, uh, that that would be what we would discuss. Right. I think our, uh, the role that we, uh, the message we would convey, if uh, we would convey or I'll convey now, is that uh, there's a role to play in, uh, in reducing the sectarian uh, nature of uh, how Iraq is being governed, um, that that's a role that they could play. We don't feel it's useful uh, for the Iraqis to uh, rely on the capacity of Iran's security forces um, and don't feel, and that's a message we would uh, convey to the Iraqis as well. You work with the government in Iran who just, you know, a few months ago called you the great Satan. Well, Lucas, I, I will not mince words here. We have still existing strong concerns about uh, terrorist activity about our detained American citizens who are there, uh, steps they need to take even as a part of the P5 plus 1 negotiations here. But again, um, this is a case where um, we're open to a discussion uh, because we've done that in the past when it came to Afghanistan. Uh, we think uh, there could be, uh, it could be an opportunity, um, but beyond that it hasn't changed our concerns about a variety of issues in Iran.